Let's illustrate the SBE single base extension method of SNP detection using the SNP that's shown here. The browser shows the reference sequence. The sense sequence is on top and that matches what's attached to the microbead, the probe sequence. Our sample from saliva after amplification and fragmentation is going to carry the SNP that we want to detect. And the first thing that happens is there's going to be hybridization. Hybridization will follow the base pairing rules to match that fragment of genomic DNA up against our probe sequence. You can see there's perfect base pairing between our probe and our sample DNA. Let's look at the very end. The SNP color G is going to serve as the template for the next nucleotide that adds to the three prime end of the probe sequence. And what we want to do is now attach to that 3' prime hydroxyl group an incoming labeled nucleotide. These labeled nucleotides are special. From the original literature and its supporting information, we can see that these are di-deoxy-DD triphosphates and that they carry a label to provide a color or a stain that will signal the particular SNP that's being detected. For example, biotin is going to give a green color after staining, and that's going to carry on the G and the C. DNP is going to give a red color after staining, and that's carried on the A and the T. And you'll notice that U, the close cousin of thymidine T, is what you actually see here. As I said, these are di-deoxy, so let's get rid of that 3' prime hydroxy group. That's going to prevent polymerization going beyond a single base. That's why it's called SBE. The G, the SNP that's on there right now, is going to template the formation of a C. That's the incoming group that's going uh, to be attached. The triphosphate then, which is used uh, for the enzyme, is uh, going to become just that phosphodiester. Uh, the enzyme removes the uh, triphosphate group and now makes the uh, phosphodiester linkage to give us biotin label and green color when the SNP is G. So what if the SNP was something else? What if we had the minor sequence, the minor allele T? So if that were T, then the complementary uh, group would be A. The complementary nucleotide is A. And so A is going to template the incoming T. So we'll see our bead glowing red since it's going to be attached to the, to the thymidine nucleotide.